What's going on, people? Netflix, you have the most uncomfortable show. I have it, like, looking at on top of my TV right now. It's called Netflix Original Cooking on High. So the show is called Cooking on High. Now, the thing you'll know when you look at the, uh, the logo is you will see a fork and a pot plant outline and the, both of the O's in the word cooking. So right away, you're cooking with marijuana. This is a good look so far. Hit play, and all of a sudden, that little high you got in the, hey, it's, you know, a good look, just tunnels its way down to hell within first five seconds. Oh, my God. Who okayed this? Who in the industry said this is what we need? Disjointed is canceled on Netflix, um, and that show is a hell of a lot better than this. Disjointed was at least funny. This show is just uncomfortable to watch. Just like the people have no chemistry. The host is just land as hell. The people they have cooking on there have personality, but they don't have the right, you know, personality to match. I feel like if this was on cable, it would be only on cable in that state. Wherever they film this, I believe they probably film this in California or one of the other 12 states besides that one where weed is legal and therefore people that are on the show they have little hosts and they have well the little host is saying glad but they have celebrity judges let me tell you something this is the underground of the underground of people who are probably only really heard of in that state okay i've never heard of any of these judges and i've watched seven episodes and i've never heard of any of them now, I think of a show like Cooking on High, and I think uh, hosts would be like uh, Snoop Dogg, you know, some judges coming through would be people well known in the industry of cannabis or well known in that main line, like you identify them with like weed movies or stand ups or shit like that. You know, like I could see Cat Williams being on it or, you know, Willie Nelson coming through or Method Man, Red Man. You know, people you associate weed with. You feel me? And, <clears throat> you know, you'd have Cypress Hill come through, of course. It, I'm just throwing random shit out there as people who would come through and judge. And, you know, you automatically, you have no idea any of the shit going on in this show because that's not what it is it is so one dimensional in one state relevant yet it's reaching all over the place if you have netflix you have this show to watch it's just so bad because it's so uncomfortable and you're sitting there going why didn't they do this direction with these people or this amount of people and these people who actually know what these people are in the cannabis why didn't they go that route you know, you sit there and you're thinking all the directions this show could have went to be a great show. They're in a kitchen on a set somewhere that looks like it's getting ready to be used for another fucking something another. It's so big. Like, you're just sitting there watching, like, who the fuck put the budget for this shit together? Because it's like they gave them next to nothing. You know what I'm saying? And I like Disjointed. I like the fact Disjointed was a comedy it had uh, teaching elements. If you didn't know much about weed, if you watched that show, you could actually learn some shit about weed. You know, it's not just a show that's, you know, funny for being funny sake or any of that. It was informative. It let people know, hey, real people have medical needs and they need this shit. It was very good. A lot of people didn't like it, but a lot of people don't look at it the way I do. So, while that is great for the for the movement to lead into legalizing it and making it a legalized substance as opposed to a you know illegal substance cooking on high i believe it does more damage than it does good yes it's great to see um marijuana and cannabis becoming more you know mainstream accepted but is it getting mainstream exception in the good way or the bad way and I think that this show does more of the bad way than the good. Because again, it seems like a show that would be more relevant to wherever this show is located. Like, why can't I watch this show? Why am I watching this show living in Georgia where it's not legal? Why am I watching the show? Who are these people? You know, why is it you have literally 
maybe a studio apartment worth of room on a set for cooking. These people are cramped. Like, there's so many questions. There's so many unanswered questions. And you can literally look at it and see how to fix it in five minutes to make it a better show. I do want to see a show like this be big and blow up. Even if it is on Netflix, I don't care. As long as it gets big, because anything good for the movement is needed. Man, this show is uncomfortable. Watch two episodes. Wait for the weed expert to start talking about weed. And then watch him as they progress through the show. Tell me he is not uncomfortable, nor does he have the look like... I don't belong here on his face. Every episode, this guy has, he's like, uh, am I supposed to go backstage and I'm supposed to walk away? They don't give him any of the food. They don't, what the fuck is he there for after that? There's no reason they sit around, you know, sharing some weed stories and it's like, dude, I don't care about your weed story. Fucking show me the shit. Show me the food. Let me see what you're working with. You know, I mean, uh, it's, it's, it's bad. I've seen better cooking shows and they're not even using marijuana in them. They could have copied any of those formulas and just added weed in it. No. I want to like this show so bad. I feel like it's something that I do like, but at the same time, I hate it. Like, I love it and I hate it at the same time. Fuck. If you have Netflix, go check it out. See what I'm talking about. You'll more than likely just be sitting there fighting yourself the whole time like what I'm doing. So make sure you go watch it and put yourself through that torture because they need to know we want more stuff like this. Especially if you're pro-cannabis, pro-weed. We want more stuff like this but not like this. We want it, but we want it better. It should be a better idea, better setup, all that. I'm telling you, when you watch it, that's going to run through your mind. Anyway, deuces.